Hi Brian, okay, finally evaluation day. Uh, gonna be the last one before the Christmas break, so let's make it a good one. Your blue pogue is here. I'm looking at it, it's hazy. So you got a little bit of haze here on, on the top of this bridge. There's no lubrication at all in it. Uh, and the, the watch is running, your watch looks good, but it's running, it's running like we would expect it to run, even actually honestly a little lower. Would you stop that? Stop it. So we've got a fair amount of beat error, and it's losing a fair amount of time, but it's running really low. But as I'm not quite sure what. Usually, when I see this much of a, I, I used to I'm used to seeing these with amplitudes in like the I don't know one seventy one seventies one eighties something like that. When it's this low, I I that often I will find that that means that it's extraordinarily dirty, but I'm not really seeing that. See, it looks actually fairly clean, relatively speaking. But what it can also mean is that we've got wear to the center wheel, because that can suck up a lot of power, or we could be having a lot of um, lash in one, one or more of the wheels. So, I mean, when we're seeing numbers like this, power's getting sucked up and drained up somewhere. So we, we might see some extra stuff inside the movement in terms of wheels. I, I'm not really sure. I mean, the movement does not look bad. Let's uh, let's talk cosmetics. Yeah, this is cool. I like to. Uh, I I've always referred to these as blue pokes because of course they're a sixty-one thirty-nine six thousand five resist, uh, just like pogue, but instead of being gold, they're blue. But they've got all the other characteristics of a blue pogue, like they've got or a regular pogue, I should say. They've got the. Uh, they've got the. The unadjusted marking on the on the winding bridge that's kind of a mark of one of them but let's see what we've got in here yeah there's one mm -hmm. no 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 servicing marks not that that doesn't mean that the watch was never serviced but i just i don't see any servicing marks in there it's a beautiful watch though cosmetically look at that look at the white loom Turn this over the day day and see what happens. Oh, that's definitely a little gluey. Your day wheel's misaligned. That happens. Oh, your buttons are sticky. I don't want to try to do the reset. Let me actually let me free that button up out of there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out there. Good. I'm not gonna play with that because those buttons are super sticky. The dial is beautiful and the loom is beautiful. Misaligned day wheel, that I can sometimes index, but usually when these start to move, they continue to move. If it were mine, because you can, you could, these, these come on a, these wheels right here, they come on a star disc, star wheel. And uh, the, 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 the black part with the lettering starts to turn on that, and then you get this misalignment. Usually means the part's bad. You can firm it in place with adhesive, but I just don't like using adhesive inside watches. It's kind of a cheap trick, and I try not to do it case is beautiful original crown indicator rings a little faded but this is an attractive watch that's a nice watch that's a nice watch ah that'll look great when it's all done so i'm not sure what i'm going to find in terms of numbers inside um i'm sure in terms of parts inside i'm going to have to see um because those are some pretty low amplitudes and i bet you we're going to find at least one wheel with some serious Lash, which is where it's it basically the pivots are worn top and bottom, and it's supposed to imagine there's like a uh, imagine this is the shaft, and there's a gear that's around here in the middle, right? And so that's the wheel that's inside a watch. Imagine there's a big old gear there as we go. Well, if this thing, if the pivots are worn and the shaft goes up and down a lot like this, you get all these weird misalignment issues, and you can get some slop, and it sucks up a ton of power. It's one of those things, but we'll have to see. But it's definitely worth it. That's a beautiful watch. Okay, you let me know, Brian. Thank you.